Good morning, my name is Michael Arias. Today I am going to be uh, testing this. This is a Z-axis or fourth axis stabilizer from Scotty Makes Stuff. Um, I'm outside, I'm going to try to see what it's like in terms of um, both walking and maybe even trying to do like a light jog, who knows. Uh, and I'm here at a dreary morning on sunny California. As you can see, my, one of my sons um, does a spring football, he, so he's in camp right now, uh, for uh, flag football, um, American flag football style. And um, we're going to uh, try to do some comparisons between using the Osmo Pocket um, with, without the um, stable, uh, fourth axis stabilizer with the with the fourth axis stabilizer and try to compare it to maybe see what it looks like uh, to an iPhone um, just bare an iPhone 6s plus so bear with me while I set up and um, get ready to do some of these tests here oh the one thing too is um, I'm pretty new at this using this I just got this earlier this week um, it does take a little bit of finesse in terms of adjustments so bear with me as I try to adjust and maybe try to get the best try to get the best um, results out of this as well thank you okay so we're back home now um, after going out uh, into the outside out to a football field uh, to test the uh, fourth axis uh, stabilizer with the Osmo pocket uh, basically what I'm doing I've transferred some of the footage here to do side by side looking on the iPad uh, so that I uh, have the bigger screen rather than on my um, phone which I where I did the um, editing I so I actually used LumaFusion to set up a side-by-side -side comparison so let's take a look at um, what the footage is so on the left hand side um, is the um, video from the um, Osmo pocket without the stabilizer and on the right hand side is the footage with the stabilizer so that's just a short clip there just walking across the field Okay, so now looking at this footage again, um, I, I can definitely notice that um, looking at side by side, the, um, the one on the right with the stabilizer definitely looks um, much more stable um, as expected. Uh, not as much a difference. I'm not sure how much of a difference, but then again, I wasn't walking that fast. Um, you know, just, you know, just a normal clip. Um, this is just the side by side with um, comparing the Osmo pocket um, without the stabilizer and um, fourth axis stabilizer and um, with the fourth axis axis stabilizer. The, there's another one that I took some uh, video of as well. And th this, what this does is it actually compares my iPhone 6S Plus uh, to the Osmo Pocket with a fourth axis stabilizer. So you'll actually get a better idea of how those look side by side. So let's go ahead and play that. Um, so um, if you look, um, again, the left is, on, uh, is IS, iPhone 6S Plus, and on the right-hand side is the um, Osmo Pocket with um, the fourth axis stabilizer. So um, the first part of it, I'm just going to walk um, normally, and you can see some of the shake on the left-hand side. Uh, I'm going to walk back, um, and then I'm going to do a light jog going back um, to the same spot. So you see, I start at this yellow line here, and then I'm gonna uh, turn back around and then look at the yellow line, line up, and then head back uh, across um, towards the goal. So we'll take a look at that as well. Um, and, and you notice that there's like some little bit of jittering on the left-hand side of the screen versus what's going on on the right-hand side of the screen. So that concludes the testing for today. Um, we had to leave the field um, uh, shortly thereafter for other sports and other teams that were starting to use the field. So just ended up um, coming home. Um, didn't get, get a chance to do all the testing I would have liked to, com you know, um, comparing all these different scenarios. But, you know, this, at least this gives you a taste of um, what to expect um, in terms of using a fourth um, axis uh, stabilizer, at least from Scotty's, uh, scottymakestuff.com. And um, the one thing is, um, you know, it does take a little bit of finesse to um, figure out the, the right amount of tension, especially if you're going to be going a little bit faster or, or, or going through some trails where there may be a little bit more unstable type of um, 
um, ground or anything that um, you're, you're going to be um, un uneven ground that you're going to be walking through. So again, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe. Thank you.